I want everyone to know it is not my intention to hurt anyone by what I'm going to say. I just feel this needs to be said. I have children. Many of my fondest memories are when they were very young. There are so many things that we do with and for our children that we sometimes forget. Things like teaching them to tie their shoes, to tell time, potty training, and a million more. Our kids may not remember them, and that's okay because those memories are more for us as parents. If you don't teach them all those things, I bet they'll remember that you didn't. I can't remotely understand what kind of parent would be willing to give up those things. There is no excuse on earth that can justify a parent turning over the raising of their children to other people unless there is a health issue on their part, and then it should be a family member if at all possible. It's heartbreaking to hear stories from people whose parents would only see them once a week for a few minutes or even less. A responsible parent would treat a goldfish better than that. I don't give a damn if you're clearing the planet, saving the world from nuclear war, or anything else. I would bet anyone about anything that the people who worked on the Manhattan Project, building the atomic bomb, took care of their children while they were doing it. I hear a lot of people who are very empathetic and others who are sympathetic to the people who are in Scientology. Those who are empathetic are ex-Scientologists, obviously. I don't have a problem of feeling badly for those who were abused by Scientology, but I'd be a liar if I said I felt badly for those who turned their children over to Scientology to raise. What Scientology did to them doesn't compare to what they did to their children. It's kind of like when you hear about a murder-suicide. You feel badly for the person who committed suicide. But they had a choice. The person they murdered had no choice. So it's only natural to feel worse for the murdered victim. In the scheme of things, these parents are murdering their children's personalities, or at the very least, deforming that little personality beyond total repair. A YouTuber who goes by Get the Cans posted a video called What About Kids on 62708, or it might have been 626, I'm not sure. You really need to watch it. He talks about a similar experience, and it is very touching. When you become a parent, planned or otherwise, you have ironclad responsibilities that come with that child. You may not abdicate those responsibilities to anyone for any reason. Any excuses that someone might, may want to offer are total and complete bullshit. So don't bother. Fly in the room. There is a line in my book you just don't cross. And that's it. Whether charges are ever made by any agency or not, this is child abuse. There is nothing else to describe it. You have the gall to tell people you're going to clear the planet, but you don't even have the love in your heart to take care of your child. You love and worship a dead, mentally ill science fiction writer who wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire more than you love your own child. If you're a former member who did this to your child, I would strongly suggest you sit down with that child and admit what a terrible thing you have done with no excuses and spend every day the rest of your life doing what you can to reassure them that you will do whatever you can for them in the future. You can't do a damn thing about the past other than acknowledge that what you did was wrong and prove to them one day at a time that you will be there for them in the future. If you ask their forgiveness and you're lucky enough uh, that they give it to you, then it's up to you to prove you are truly worthy of that forgiveness. If you're thinking about becoming a Scientologist, please watch this video again so you don't wind up in this position. You don't need me to put a guilt trip on you, and that's not my intention. My intention is the truth. Acceptance of responsibility. I'm sorry that you made a terrible decision. But you made it. I didn't. You can blame a lot on Scientology, but this is one you have to wear yourself. I can't think of a stronger love than the love that exists between a parent and child. You need to do whatever it takes to live with yourself and help your child to live with what has happened to them. You owe them that. The issue is more than, this issue more than any other convinces me that this stinking business called Scientology is as cruel, heartless, ruthless, and uncaring as any business that has ever existed. 
I believe anonymous will continue picketing and protesting until hell freezes over. And when it does, I fully expect to see them ice skating on it, wearing masks and carrying signs. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching.